Harry, welcome to Barnet. It's Thank well, you for having me. Absolutely delighted to, to welcome you to the Hive London. You must be really pleased to be, to be back in the game and to have joined the club. Yeah, of course. Um, I, I love I love this side of the, the, the sport. Um, a lot of people say it's a, it's a tough job and it is a tough job, but I love to be a part of it. I love to be involved in a, um, the club, the, 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 the way the, 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 the game is being played. But you know, the, the opportunity that Barnet has given me uh, to come back into it um, is something that I, I couldn't refuse. Um, I think the, the opportunity was so good that, like I said, I, I couldn't refuse. What attracted you in particular um, to the club? Obviously, it's a club that's sort of had a, a difficult 12 months. Is it about that kind of that project of taking us back in the right direction? Uh, of, of course, I, I think um, I don't look. Last season was difficult for everyone, mm. so I, I think the the performance of what Barnet went through was reflecting what the whole nation was going through. So. You know, hopefully we can correct that and get Barnet back up to where it should be. But to be part of um, this new kind of phase of what the owner wants to bring, uh, the new background staff that we've got, uh, and then the opportunity to bring in a, a squad of what we feel can and put Barnet back to where it should be. That's going to be my next question about the recruitment. It's, it's a really big and very important summer for the club in terms of bringing players in. Obviously, the, the numbers are pretty thin come now at the end of the season just talk to us about that process and is that something that excites you as well but there's pretty much a blank canvas for us to start building yeah it is recruitment is huge not only for um the club itself but for for to getting the the right people in to be part of it now like i said this is a, a new background staff so we've come in with a kind of clean slate um we, we've sat down we've spoken how we want to approach the league, how we want to play, um, what type of players we want to bring in. So now it's down to us all working together. And if we can work together and be able to bring that type of player in, it's only going to help us. Uh, so that's that's the good side of it, because now we've got time to be able to focus in on, and, on that type of player where, as I've, I've been in clubs before, where it's kind of been rushed and you've got to kind of work it out this time here now I think we're, we're doing it properly um, yes we're going to get some good ones yes we're going to make some mistakes but that's all part of the learning process of, of the players but the one thing that we do have is a wonderful facility where we can showcase it and obviously show the players what is capable of doing and the most important thing about a player is are they willing to learn and they have the facility here to learn and become better players and that's something that we're looking looking into of what players we are attracting. Is that something that's really important to you? The the attitude in terms of the player profile has got to be someone who A really wants to be at the club and B has has the right attitude to be part of this journey. The the first thing I look for is in any player that when I've coached is are they willing to learn? Uh, I think if if you're at a stage where you don't want to learn no more, it's not the player for me. I think you should be wanting to learn every day and we want to create an environment where a player can come in and learn every single day. And if we can do that, then we're on the, the, the right right foot. Of course, Dean's coming with you as uh, Dean Brennan as head of football. You've met some of the, the backroom staff uh, today. It's a nice little setup for us all to, to push on. Again, it, it's, uh, we're, we're constantly on the phone anyway, uh, but it's our first meeting today to, to kind of put together what's happening through, throughout the season, uh, putting to, uh, the pre-season together and obviously going through players, having meetings. Um, so again, we're, we're working hard behind the scenes to get everything right uh, because a season is only as good as its pre-season and you have to get that right. So it's important for us to, to get off on the right foot. We all seem to be singing off the, the same same sheet here, so which is great. I'm sure there's going to be altercations between everyone, but that's what you want. You want to create that winning environment and, uh, and that's what we're trying to create here. In terms of on the pitch, how do you like your teams to play and what kind of football can the Barnet fans expect from a Harry Kewell team? You want to go into that information now? <laughs> wow. Um, well, like I said, I've, I've had I've had some experience uh, at at the levels where I play a certain way. Um, my first and foremost is you have to learn to adapt. 
Um, and that's in football because if you get stuck playing one way, you can get easily figured out. And I believe I can create a team that can be quite adaptive. Um, it'll be interesting. I've got some new ideas that I'm going to be working on, um, which I've had success. And, and I feel if I go down this path that I can, I can bring a style of football that not only the owner will like and, and my staff and my players, but definitely the fans will enjoy. Is that something that's an exciting element of the role? But obviously the fans of everyone struggled in the nation, across the world in the, in the last 12 months. That must be a motivation to, to put some smiles back on the Barnet fans' faces. Yeah, I, I think so, because when you, when you talk about football in this country, it is, you know, people's lives. It's, you know, people have, you know, supported this team since they were young babies and they want to see their team kind of play good football and have that kind of winning mentality. But the one thing that they want to see is that players will come in here and, and work for the jersey and play for the right reasons. Um, I think we all can accept losing if we've given it our all and if we just wasn't good enough on the day, but as long as we've worked hard enough and shown the fans that we're capable of putting it in. And I think if we get that, then the fans will accept it. But also, like I said, we also want to see the three points. And I think if we can work hard and, and, and pull together, and this is not only just going to be about my staff or the owner or the, the players, the, the fans have got to be behind us as well. And we're going to go through some dark patches, like every, every team does throughout the year. But this is when we need everyone to be pulling in the right direction. Do you think this is almost a bit of a longer term project based on, on what had happened in the last 12 months to get the club back in the right direction? I remember that's something you said in, in your first quote. Yeah, of course, it, it's, 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 it's a project, but we're not going to be, be silly enough. We have to hit the ground running mm -hmm. and we know that every, every manager is only as good as his last game. So we have to be cautious about that. But that's why I said we're, we're working hard now to get the, the, the type of player that we need, that we feel that can that can push and have a have a better season than what we had. Twenty first of August, we'll see the start of the new national league season. I know there's plenty of work to do before that opening game, but that must be really exciting for, to have that opening day. Hopefully, with the fans back in as well. Yeah, exactly. I think. Look, for me, it's exciting to be back on the phone talking football, <coughs> um, being able to negotiate, to be able to speak to players. I've had a few players in today and like I said, I, look, I love it. I love being part of it, but I know that the road ahead is going to be tough. I'm not expecting it to be easy. I'm, I'm, my team is, is, me and my team are ready to, to do the hard work. Uh, we just need to get the rest of the jigsaw together and make sure that we, we have a, a better season than what we've been used to. Just lastly, let's finish on the supporters. You say there in this country, football is so much it's all about the fans you must be really looking forward to when you eventually get to meet the uh the b army of, of course uh for so many wonderful things about them um but not only them i just think fans in general are fantastic i i've never i've never really understood fans especially when i played um because i couldn't never understand how could they love something as much as i do and not be i know that i'd play it but be able to come and watch it and I, I really took a back seat this year by knowing how much football actually missed fans. Fans are so important, not only for football itself, but for teams as well. They, they, are the, the, they are the 12th men. They do drive teams forward. They do bring life and soul into a football game. I mean, when you have an empty stadium, it's just not football, is it? You need them fans in there. And like I said, I'm really looking forward to, to seeing the home fans, home and away, supporting our team. And hopefully we can do them proud. Perfect. Thank you, Harry. And we wish you every success. Thank you very much.